Hey guys, on this video we are going to continue where we left on previous video and uh, this is what we are going to get at the end. This is the last video of this series. Let's start where we left on previous video. So we uh, can now start building the new cell. We need to put here the image view. We can add now the constraints. So go here and put zero, 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 and zero to this one. Okay. Now change here the preview. This is uh, just to preview here in the storyboard. We will change it in Swift. And here change it to scale to fill. We can now create the the cell class. So command N here to create a new cell and select Coco Touch class. I'm going to change the name and call it Commandations Cell. Okay, like this. conforms to the protocol we created on the, the last video it's called movie cell and we need now to implement the the method you can click you can fix and let xcode help us we can add the reuse identifier so put your static let reuse identifier And it is a string, and the, I pass there the recommendation cell. Let's add this in the main dot storyboard. So before I forget, so go to main dot storyboard, and with this cell selected, put here the identifier. Let's copy and put in the storyboard here. We can also now associate the class we just created here. Okay, seems fine. Let's go back to the to this and uh, open it like this and to connect the the image go put it here and call it movie image and we can change it now the uh, in the show movie method movie image dot image equals movie dot thumbnail okay now we can go to the view controller and uh, create here the, the section but first let's um, put uh, the the cell here so change the default we can copy this and case 2 Is recommended cell, recommendation cell, and we'll put this as default as well. Run it just to see how it is now. Then we will create the the section. Okay, you can see we are using the new cell already. Okay, and it's scrolling. All seems fine. We now need to create the section with the right dimensions. We can copy this and create a new method called get recommendations sections. And this method will be used here on the default, like this. Now change the dimensions and then we will run it again 
check um, how it looks so dimensions you can change it here first give some padding and then change here the dimensions to 30% to the height and uh, 22 I, th I tested and I think it looks better and uh, yeah I think we can test now with the padding and uh, the height changed Yeah, it looks fine. We need now to give some titles to this section. To do that, we need to create a new class here. So go here and uh, press Command N to create a new class. Command N and select uh, Coco Touch class. I'm going to call it um, title add it with it. this okay now title header and the super class is Y collection reusable view. In the other views, in the other cells I created using the storyboard, now I will use only code, the programmatic way, just to show you different ways to create uh, views. But you can use also storyboard to create this um, reusable cell. Like, like always, um, put a uh, use with the identifier and I'm going to change this name it's too long okay uh, dot self we can create another label Y label call here the super and then the method configure we are going to create so super dot init and pass the frame now configure you need now to have this method is required function configure okay uh, I need a space there between private and uh, func here and we can configure this reusable view here so first let's add the subview the text label the font you can give other font but I I will give the the bulb system font and uh, the size twenty. Change the text color. Color literal and uh, this one. you need to set this as false when you set the constraints uh, programmatically and uh, in this in sets 20 10 10 and uh, 
by those constraints and now then let's have these constraints and uh, the concept we created No, it's uh, without the type. Do that the same to the um, to the other uh, anchors. So trail wing anchor here, trailing anchor as well. Minus inset because it is on the other side. Top anchor top anchor here bottom anchor and the same and it's negative here okay I think it's all fine we can now use this uh, view we just created as title to do that we need first to register here so give some space and uh, register this um, reusable view in the collection view. Here pass the class and that uh, the kind is y collection view dot element kind so uh, section header like that and um, reuse identifier the one we created so title view either view dot reuse identifier we now can create a method to supply this um, this header first fix this okay now create the method uh, some error here not self here, self like this. Now it's fine. Now finally we can create the the method uh, here. Now let's call it get header. Private func get header. Into returns the type let me see if you, I, I don't get this wrong ns collection um it's very long collection layout boundary supplementary item okay and we now need first to create the other size then the other so other size equals ns collection layout size okay with dimensions point fraction width and here I will give one and height dimensions estimated 44 I, I give 44 because uh, I tested before and uh, I think it, it, it is the dimension that looks better. Now we can create the section header with uh, NS collection layout boundary supplementary item and uh, takes the layout size, the element kind and the alignment. Layout size is the one we just created. This one. Is it here? The element kind is the one we register here. We can copy and paste it here. And the alignment uh, top leaving. Like this. Let me 
missing. Okay, we need to return now. Return. And it is an array of sections either. Like this. And we can call this method. To add this um, header to the section, you need to call this method the boundary supplementary item and pass the the header. In this case, we created the the method because we we use in two sections the recommendations and the preview section. We need now to associate this the view with the data source we can do it here so um, call data source and uh, set the, this view so data source and it is supplementary view provider equals and weak self to to make a weak reference to itself so itself and it, now it takes a closure this closure takes the collection view the type is OI collection view the kind it is a string the index path And the type index path obviously and uh, it returns a y collection view reusable like this let's create a a thread to make sure that uh, self it is not null And other supplementary view. The Q uh, reuse supplementary view. This one of kind. And here you must pass the collection view. And uh, element can section either like we did before in the previous step the identifier the one we created and for index path the one we received in this closure We can then cast to title header view to supply the the title to this cell. So here, because we then cast, we can pass the the title and set the title for the section. We can assess the section title through the index path, but first let's uh, fix these arrows here. We can click here and uh, index path in it's not okay. You should change this to index path like this. And now go to snapshot and uh, assess the, the section, section identifiers, and pass index path dot section. With the section, we can um, check the, the name through the raw value I'll show you so text equals section dot raw value the section is an enum you can see here the section and we get through the section identifiers I will show you if you go here to movie data managers movie manager and you have here the several section and the, the, the titles 
and then now you must return the Xcode is <laughs> complaining we are missing a return here return and uh, it is uh, either supplementary view and here return nil build and check how it works now and you can see we have here the the titles it all looks fine we just need to change so, some small stuff and we can finish the the video so first let's go to main.storyboard and uh, i will change the the navigation bar you can see it doesn't uh, disappear when you scroll down and also make some change here to the sections in the storyboard so let's go to the storyboard and uh, this image here change the content mode to scale to fill like this we can here change it this constraint instead of safe area to super view and give it zero and go to movie feed and put the bar to island swap so self dot navigation controller navigation controller dot on bars on on swipe equals to let's run it and uh, see this in action okay and if you scroll down the bars appears and uh, if you scroll up the bar appears again I'm going to show you now how we you can implement a lister you can use this to go from uh, this view controller to another view controller for example here I'm going to just uh, put some uh, print so Y collection view the object and this is an extension movie feed view controller why collection view delegate and here override the function with the uh, did select item at and you can assess the movie through the index path so movie equals data source dot identify item for index path and now i'm going to print this uh, movie and uh, check if it is working movie dot title and uh, if it is nil uh, you can write this movie title is nil now you can use this as delegate you know, to do that you must uh, supply the delegate here and set it as self because we extended this uh, class we can run and test it let's check okay it's open and now we can click on movies section yes and you can see the movie it appears there now just to, to finish i will create the splash screen so let's go to the launch screen that storyboard and put there the netflix icon and the, the black background color so go here put the image the image is the Netflix logo, image view in the center, and set here the image, uh, the Netflix logo. I already have here. Now I'm going to change the preview to dark mode and put the constraints to this image. 
so the aspect ratio and um, then not the, the height but the width here and center vertical and horizontal we can uh, change now these constraints and put it 16 by 9 let's run and she check the splash screen okay you can see it's working this now we only need to change the preview the the, the movie title is a little bit off we can arrange that um, but the rest is working fine so let's go back to the main dot storyboard and change this this text and here select the text this one and uh, change here on the right panel the number of lines to two and the constraint here the bottom to 25 the constant is 10 I think it looks better if you change to 25 then I will run again and I think we finish so let's run and check how is the the layout the splash screen here and you can see it's all fine so thanks for watching this series and uh, if you like it please press the like button and uh, subscribe see you in the next video